Hey guys, Kid Gear here from Megabyte TV and the Tech World Channel. So if you're watching this on my channel at Lake or Cool Man, you may want to visit Megabyte TV. Uh, this is a great new project started by my uh, good friend of mine named Duncan, or you may know him as Mobile Phone uh, 2003. Um, he is a really great guy, and he just started this new uh, channel, and you'll be seeing more of my videos here. So again, this is a tutorial for Megabyte TV, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Um, you know, check it out on their channel, subscribe to them, they have great videos, great content coming out for a lot of people, and of now you'll be seeing my videos there. So, let's get started. Today I have a video on overview on Fences by Stardock. This is a new application that they came out in order for, uh, you know, just really a desktop organizational, uh, tool, and it's really, really cool. Uh, as you know, Stardock has made products like Object Dock and stuff like that. Today I want to show you Fences. So, go ahead and install it. It's a quick install. I'm just going to minimize here, and I'm going to scale up here to my actual icons. And I don't have that many, and I actually pulled out a little extra. These right here are my main icons. Uh, I pulled out a little extra just to show you, you know, how the fences work. So I'm actually just going to take fences here, and then I'm going to execute, or turn, uh, obviously run it. And then here, you can, if you right-click once you install it, you'll have this option to enable it or whatever. And I'm going to, mine's currently disabled, and I'm going to show you how to disable it, enable it, and don't worry about that. Um, so we're just going to let that, okay, so Fences is on now, and um, quick note, if you want to actually turn Fences off or on, Tools, More Tools, and Enable Fences is on or off right here. Okay, so actual making a fence, what does that actually mean? It's like making your own type of, you know, area, your own property, so I'm going to actually create a fence. And it says use your right mouse button to create one, and it's going to be over actual on your actual desktop. So I'm just going to right click and hold around these icons that I want to make a fence and say create a new fence from these icons. And as you see there, it makes a new fence. And these are my files, my main files. So I'm just going to title this files. Actually, I'll make that all caps files because these are my main uh, main documents that I go through every day, and that's why I keep them up here. I'm just going to put the downloads right there and you can adjust the size of the thing and you can move it around and just move it up here so anytime you drop something in here uh, it's less cluttered obviously it has its own area to work with and if you hover over it shows right there so I just added one and it shows right here in the little preview window that I actually have files right there if I go to custom I can actually edit around I have mine it says show labels never so that little thing that pops up I can that says files I can do that on mouse over on always or just never um, you can set the transparency level of the actual so they can, you know make it dark whatever up to you um, brightness hue saturation outline the fence area so I can turn the fence area outline off if I want to but I like it on so and you can change the label text color if you want if you go to the regular tools here previous page takes a snap it can you can take a snapshot of previous uh, desktops that way you can back up into a, a previous state if you mess up or anything like that. Um, and you can make exclusions. And this is for quick hide. So quick hide is if I double click on my desktop, all my icons uh, will fade away. And I'll show you that. And as you see them slow, and they just kind of fade off there and they're gone. Now if I want them back, I just double click. And they're back. They fade back in. So it's that easy. Um, it's if you just want to uh, unclutter your desktop real quick. And you can choose if you want icons to stay on. Like maybe I want my recycling bin to stay on, but I want all my other icons just to disappear when I'm working on something. You never know. Uh, so it really is a really nice uh, organization tool. Now, helping about or you know, you don't really need to mess with those. But if you go into more tools, like I said, you can turn fences on or off because it's not. It doesn't open in the taskbar, so you actually have to just disable it or enable it. Uh, you can store fence sizes and positions per screen resolution basis, uh, and auto layout stuff like that. Also, if you go back up to fences, you can choose your own. Cust uh, they have layout set for you if you want top and bottom, customized layout. You can mess around with it up to you. Um, and then you can just label and adjust the fence. So some ideas, like I said, mine is obviously I have files right here. Now let's say I want to do something else. Let's say I have like uh, you can do stuff like let's see. Right click or right click and make a new fence. Say so create new fence here. And I'll name this one two files. So and that uh, two files is a system I use where basically if I have any miscellaneous items on my desktop, let's say these two icons, just drop them in and they're in my two files now. Now by the end of the day, I know that I have to put them to my two folder, which is right there. 
and I can just take all these files right here and just drag them over there that way I know later on to organize them into wherever appropriate field they may need to go into like something like they may go into video they may go into pictures whatever you know uh, it's just nice way to organize and you can do other stuff like uh, I can make a project stack I can make whatever it's uh, so you get the basic idea of fences guys uh, a lot of cool stuff you can do with it, a lot of neat ideas uh, and you know a lot of layouts you can set up so hope you guys enjoy this uh, the download link will be in the description as well as a link to the megabyte channel so guys hope you enjoy this video uh, thanks for listening and if you enjoy my videos and you're watching this already from megabyte head over to youtube.com slash thanks guys hope you enjoyed